It's not that I challenge or force myself to do it, I just don't think it's a good idea to use my main Evernote account on the beta I've been testing for a while now. This is the web, right? So let's use the browser in our favor. Go to the Evernote tab, right click it and select pin. This will pin the tab to the left hand side of the browser and it doesn't matter how many tabs you open from now, that tab will stay there. In other words, I can move around and easily come back to Evernote. To unpin it, just right click it again and unpin it. This other tip will also only work on Evernote for web. Pay close attention to the address bar browser while you move around Evernote. Can you see the letters and the numbers changing? That's exactly the address of what you are using at that moment. Meaning that it is possible to bookmark anything, a note, a notebook, Evernote home, anything. For example, let's open my YouTube notebook. And now I'm dragging this to the bookmarks bar. I'll do the same with my consulting notebook. Let's move it here. And if I click here, I'm back to the YouTube notebook. If I click here, I'm back to the consulting notebook. You can also right click it and edit the title. Pretty cool, right? But we can make it better. Right click here and add a folder. Let's call it work. move and now they are grouped. In some situations you have to tweak the URL, but no worries, there's another video here on the channel where I explain how to do it. you find the link in the description below. And by the way, if this is being useful so far, if you are enjoying the tips, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Let's keep moving. Some of you have already asked me, what is this blue dot on the lower right corner of some of my notes? Well, it's the Writing Assistant Language 2 in action. I've been using the Language 2 Assistant from the very beginning of this channel. However, every time I needed to work on a script, I would go to the web version of Evernote because this is a Chrome plugin. Now that I'm using the web version of Evernote, all I need to do is go to the node and start typing. By the way, I'm already working on a video explaining the language to features and how I use it. Since we may be using Evernote to take notes and half of you are from a non-English speaking country, I think this tutorial will be a good addition to the channel. Also works on the desktop version, but for some reason, when using the web version of Evernote, I started collapsing the sidebar. I like the way some of the items like shortcuts, notebooks, tags, they fill this other window. It's like grouping them. It's easier to do whatever you are doing. For example, when I have to expand the tree I created with tags, tags of people, authors, family members, the Evernote team. There's another video here in the channel where I explain how I use this and how useful it is to navigate to a note. Oh, come on, Jay, how I miss you. It's the number one feature I used to use on the desktop version of Evernote. Unfortunately, it's not available on the web version. And if you watch this other video, you'll learn what are the other four or five features I use every day in my Evernote. By the way, to learn more about Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.